Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. I have one of my favorite returning guests. It's David Hill. And boy, does he have a story that I know will motivate you and inspire you. And honestly, I'm going to be right up front. We have a plan here. We have something that David wants to do. I'm going to let him share that. And we want to get behind him and support him. Welcome back to the show, David. How you doing? Good. Thank you, Ted, for having me on. I appreciate it. Good I'm to be back. I'm excited to have you on. I really do mean those words. I believe you are definitely an inspiration, motivation, um, and I want to find ways for people to get to know your story and, of course, support you because you've got um, you've got an ask going on right now, and I think it is a genuinely wonderful ask that I want people to get behind. So before we get to that, uh, if you don't mind, we talked before we went live. Give them a little background. They love origin story. And of course, share with them what you would like about uh, what you have experienced and how your life has changed. Sure. Um, like you said, uh, I'm David. I'm from Orlando, born and raised here. Um, I got hurt at a wedding in uh, 2014. I dove in a pool and I hit the other side of the wall, breaking my neck, uh, leaving me um, quadriplegic with no voluntary movement below my chest. Um, and since then, uh, I've been lucky enough and that there is a, a great rehabilitation center just down the road from here called Next Step Orlando I go to. And since being there over the last uh, six years now, um, I've seen vast improvements in my core, uh, just my being able to lock out my legs now. Um, and it just keeps going. And I'm trying to do as much as I can uh, with what I can to get back some movement. And this is kind of where I'm at right now, trying to get to that next step with trying to get a standing wheelchair that can help uh, help me regain that stability and just uh, bone uh, growth, uh, health, overall health, just standing. Because as you know, we, I mean, we can't stand on our own and being sitting, sitting in a chair all day is not good for your body. So it's, it's I think people don't realize um, the the underlying challenges. It's there's so much more to what you have to think about and do. Uh, we can talk about uh, the show like 10 o'clock in the morning. There was a snafu on my part and it takes a while for you to get to. This is not an easy process, maybe one you've gotten used to and made easier as time goes by but that doesn't mean that it's an easy process. And I wanna talk obviously about the wheelchair, but I wanna go back to next step. Why is that different? What is it about that recovery center that you feel has uh, is different for you and made such an impact? Well, as far as the physical aspect is going there and working out and trying to regain movement and um, strength, it's, uh, I'd say, 50% of it is more is just about being around other people in similar circumstances. Um, now there's some of my greatest friends and we go out quite often. I'm, <laughs> it's kind of bad to say, I probably go out with them more than I go out with my uh, <laughs> other friends and family. Um, it's a, fa it a, a there. family. It's a community. Yeah. It becomes a family, a community. I think, I think the way that we connected was Amanda was on the show, right? Um, yes. Yes, and she shared her story. Amanda is, I want to say, one of the founders, or at least one of yes, the- Yes, her and her mother, Lisa, started Next Step uh, a little it's, over 10 years ago now. I it's think. amazing, the, the camaraderie, because I think that people, again, people don't understand what they don't understand. And I think yeah, that exactly. if you've been in that position, you don't understand all of the challenges. Uh, you think you do, but you really don't, that we take for granted um, because we have full control as much as possible over our bodies. And you have to really work at um, everything. Everything for you, I feel like, is not a, I don't want to say struggle because I think that's demeaning your spirit. It is, it is a challenge and you have to learn how to overcome that challenge. So tell us why a standing, what is a standing wheelchair until you posted it 
I must say, I didn't even know that existed, or maybe I just didn't understand what it was. And why will that make such a difference for you? Um, well, actually, they're somewhat new as far as standing wheelchairs come around. Um, they've been around for like a couple of years now, but um, the main thing is that if I'm able to stand and put weight on my body, uh, hopefully that will, you know, maybe start waking up some nerves, um, start getting me back into that, uh, you know, just being able to uh, do things maybe a little bit more that I've been able to do before. Um, Cause going the next step, it's given me that, you know, a little bit of gains here and there, but if I can start um, standing at home, whereas not having to stand, well, cause the big thing is at next step we stand just, it's good for, Pretty much your whole body um so if i'm able to stand at home that time can be used you know better at next step for other you know exercises to focus on you know different things um so that's the main reason i really want to i just i want to do everything i can now because i don't want to wait too long or wait till later to not be able to you know give it all i can to be able to have some kind of movement, you know, be able to walk, be able to move my arms, something. Uh, so that's why I'm trying everything and anything I can do. I think you posted, it gave me a giggle, but I know you were serious. Uh, you, you are a, you're a sports fan. You're a football guy. So Correct. tell me the recent post you just did. Uh, where you're like, this is exactly why I need a standing, a standing wheelchair. Well, I was at the Florida Alabama game uh, the other weekend, and of course, the you know the wheelchair section is always behind the crowd. Um, but at big games, people like to stand, and when they stand, I can't really you know stand up or raise my chair up or do anything like that. So, you know, part of the game, I had to just watch people in the back of them, um, and that's true at even UCF games I go to. It, or even any kind of crowd thing. You're just kind of left down there, you know, below everyone else. And it, 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 it's hard to say, but it just doesn't leave like a very good feeling because, you know, people just don't recognize you as, you know, they think there's something wrong, uh, not just physically, but they just look at you different. It's and disheartening. That's hard. It can, it can be, I'm sure it can be discouraging too. And I think that people, again, back to what people don't know, unfortunately, the don't know shies them away from talking, engaging, not judging. It's it's a very interesting place that people are, but I have this great vision of you in the standing wheelchair at a game. Um, you're being able, you're able to see, I don't, especially since you love sports and you love going to the games, uh, it just seems like such a small thing that we can all band together to help you with uh, that will improve maybe not necessarily your quality of life, but certainly uh, your ability to see at the games that you love to go to, which is good for the soul. I, I understand. I understand what it's like not to be able to see, uh, but not in your case. I've never, I've never been in your, in your position. I think people just need to be un to understand it, which is why we do these kinds of educational shows. Mm -hmm. So the amount of money you are trying to raise isn't as much as I think people would believe. Tell them. Well, first of all, the reason I have to raise this is insurance will not cover this portion of the wheelchair. They'll cover just the, the basic wheelchair. But if there's no proven facts out there or there is no um, data specifically about a person standing in a wheelchair, then they won't approve it. I had to go through this with almost everything in insurance, um, just the, the smallest things. Um, there, it's just, you know, there's a big, there's a big gap in what they approve and don't approve for, you know, paralyzed people. I don't know why, but it's just how it is. Um, so it's yeah, this is the portion I have to pay for. Just get that um, part on the wheelchair, the standing portion. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to ask and hope that people will help me and try to raise this money so, you know, I can, you know, 
walk again sooner than later. We all want we all want to band together and help you. So let's get to that. What's the best way for them to find? Is it a GoFundMe? Is it's it a, a so what's the best way? Um, a PayPal uh, donation page, which is uh, there's a link on all of my social media. You can go to my Facebook page, um, facebook.com slash hillstrong or facebook.com slash d hillstrong my initial first or instagram d hillstrong one um any of those you there's a link right at the top to uh go to my donation page at paypal fantastic so we want to i've got hillstrong going there i'll tag all of that we'll put it on instagram as well when we're finished uh, you, I've tagged David. You can reach out to him. You can find him. Go to Hill Strong or put it in the Facebook search uh, bar, and you'll be able to find him right away. What's one thing that people don't um, don't know about what you have to deal with on a daily basis? What's something you can share to kind of give them an insight on things that we we take for granted because we are not in your position. <laughs> Uh, I can loaded question, David. Loaded question. Yes. Um, you name it. Uh, something, you know, itches, you can't itch it. You, you're hungry, you want to drink a water, you can't just grab a drink. You just can't go to the bathroom. Um, someone has to, you know, help me go to the bathroom. It has to give me a bed bath or a shower. Um, after the, I've even the little things, I get cold at night. I just can't grab a blanket or I can't, you know, if I'm hot, take a blanket off. I have to call someone to wake up in the middle of the night to come over and like either fix my foot or put another blanket on me or give me a drink of water because I've been coughing. Um, it's just, a, you know, every little thing you can think of, I just can't do. We take a lot for granted. And that's, uh, and one thing I want people to know is I have never, seen you be uh, at least publicly have any you don't you're not looking for pity you're just looking no. for support and so uh, i asked you to share that because i think a lot of people don't realize they they block it out because it's not a fun thing to think about and what i just want to encourage people to know is it's not fun for david either so what we want to do is improve help improve his quality of life in any possible way that can allow that funny, great smile, sports loving uh, human being to enjoy more of his life and reach the goals that he wants. So what I encourage you all to do, what I would love for you to do is go to his Facebook page, uh, go to his Instagram page. Again, we'll tag it all. Uh, give what you can. It's not an exorbitant amount of money that we're asking for, that I'm saying we're asking for. Uh, so every little bit counts. Let's get him to that standing wheelchair which i know we will uh at some point and i just want to say you are inspirational my friend i think that what you do every day it's just amazing and so i want to find ways to give back to you let's do that for david thank you i appreciate it Ted. all right guys d hill david hill you can go to d hill strong hill strong i will tag it all but please uh reach out uh, give some support to David. Uh, this is a big, big deal. We appreciate you guys. David, thank you so One much. One last thing. We, we are thing. over 50% there. So there's not enough, so we're almost there. We're almost we just there. We've got a little bit left. That's a big deal. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. David, God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's reach out and support David Hill. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.